While the PGA Tour and Live Golf still rage on, the 15-time major champion Tiger Woods said the CEO of the Saudi-backed league, Greg Norman, must go before both organizations can resolve their conflict. So why do you think he said so? Woods also said he's on the verge of retirement. What do you think the reason for his desire to retire early is? Watch this video to the end for full details. Why does golf billionaire Tiger Woods insist that the Live Golf International Series CEO resign before the two organizations can decide to end the dispute. Tiger Woods believes Greg Norman should step down as the Live Golf Series Commissioner for the Live to coexist with the US PGA and DP World Tours peacefully. The 15-time major winner repeated remarks made earlier this month by Northern Ireland's Rory McIlroy when he spoke on Tuesday before his Hero World Challenge at the Albany in the Bahamas. Woods said that if both groups halted their litigation, there was an opportunity. According to Woods, that was the issue. If you are being sued, there is no inclination to negotiate. Greg should go first. He added that leadership on the live golf side is necessary to begin the process, as they must realize that the current state of affairs is not favorable for the long-term development of golf. He also said that if the two organizations were to come together, how do they work with one side having such hatred and attempting to sabotage the PGA Tour? Norman has been the highly combative face of the breakaway circuit, supported by the PIF of Saudi Arabia. In September, he stated that he had no interest in talking with the existing golf league to mend the schism caused by Live Golf's enticement of some of the game's greatest stars with multi-million dollar rewards for their 54-hole no-cut events. The PGA Tour responded to Live Golf's challenge by suspending any players who participated in Live tournaments. The new tour has been accused of sports washing Saudi Arabia's human rights record. The European Tour's attempt to sanction players for defecting to Live is also being challenged in court. It remains to be seen whether the organizers of the four major championships, the Masters, US and British Opens, and the PGA Championship, will welcome the Live Rebels. These golfers include past major winners such as Cameron Smith, Dustin Johnson, Phil Mickelson, Brooks Koepka, and Bryson DeChambeau. So who else called for the Live CEO to go? Rory McIlroy wants Live Golf CEO Greg Norman to leave before the PGA Tour and Live Golf can negotiate. Greg Norman, the head of Live, has been urged to step down by Rory McIlroy. In light of the introduction of the contentious Saudi-backed circuit earlier this year, the Northern Irishman has been a steadfast supporter of the PGA Tour. Due to their hefty contracts and opportunity to play more like a free agent, Liv has drawn some of golf's top players to the circuit. In response, the PGA banned players who decamped to Liv from competing in the Ryder Cup. McElroy also founded TMRW Sports with Tiger Woods, which will introduce a brand new cutting edge golf series. It will be held in an area with a live audience on a virtual track. Starting in January 2024, it will include a 15 match regular season with six teams of PGA Tour players. Before the DP World Tour Championship, McElroy demands the contentious Norman 67 to step down. McElroy believes Greg Norman has to leave. He needs to depart stage left and the four-time major champion. Look, he's left his mark, but now is the moment to say, I've got live golf off the ground, but nobody's going to talk until there's an adult in the room who can truly attempt to heal ties. McElroy's remarks came only one day after Norman asserted that he deserved some praise from both McElroy and Woods. He believes the PGA Tour would only have increased the prize pool for its player impact program with Liv, which Woods, 46, allegedly won for the second year. According to the Australian Liv's efforts as a pioneer in a new distribution strategy or platform have benefited the players on the PGA Tour. Every PGA Tour player, including Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy, should express gratitude to Liv since the PIP program would not be expanded without it. Without Liv, the prize money would not have been increased nor would the PGA Tour have adopted all of these other things. He added that competition is the finest thing in life, business, and sports, and Liv has no plans to leave. Liv will only improve, and Liv Golf is just starting. Tiger Woods' opinion on whether there can be a possible resolution in the conflict between Liv Golf and the PGA Tour. The 82-time winner of the PGA Tour, Tiger Woods, urged Liv to lay down their arms first for peace to be possible, but he warned that time was running out. 
there is a window of time for us from both the US and live tours to resolve this, but I believe that window is narrowing because the majors are approaching, and they will have their requirements, which once again are related to live and their lawsuit. They sued us first. Then we countersued. He continued that the live golf players must change their leadership. And once they do, both organizations can step away from the table and find a middle ground to converse. However, he added that if it doesn't work, then he believes it will continue along the road it is now on. Woods claimed that he could have not seen what lay ahead for the international game last year. He continued that the anger, the anguish, the players leaving, and their indifference or disrespect for the tour helped them get there. Woods complimented McElroy, the world's number one golfer, for his leadership throughout the crisis and said that it was the responsibility of seasoned tour veterans to remind aspiring players of the significance of those circuits. I'm not sure what their aim is with Liv, he added. He said he believes their primary objective is to be an official part of the golf ecosystem and to be acknowledged with world ranking points. They've probably spent close to $2 billion this year. What's to say they can't spend $4 or $5 billion next year? It's a never-ending abyss of money. However, this only sometimes results in legacies. Woods continue that if they want to compare themselves to Ben Hogan, Sam Snead, or Jack Nicholas, they can't do it on that Liv golf series but they can do it on the PGA Tour. Finally, Tiger Woods' heartbreaking comments on his future golf career leaves golf lovers heartbroken. Tiger Woods' admission that his surgically repaired right leg doesn't have much left in it and that he's about to retire has golf fans inconsolable. Woods addressed the media before the Hero World Challenge at the Albany in the Bahamas speaking about his golfing future. The 46-year-old said, despite difficulties this year, he hopes to compete in the major championships in 2020. 23, while continuing to be constrained by his leg injuries he sustained in a vehicle accident in 2021. Fans won't feel too confident after hearing his words though. According to Woods, his ultimate targets are the four major championships plus one or two more. He continued by saying that this was all he could do physically. This leg doesn't have much left in it. Due to excruciating plantar fasciitis in his right foot, Woods, who sponsors the unofficial competition benefiting his TGR foundation, dropped from the tournament on Monday. Day. He stated that the illness was caused by the injuries sustained in the incident outside Los Angeles in February 2021. Woods admitted that he could hit the golf ball and any stroke, but he could not walk. Although he declined to provide specifics, the 15-time major champion admitted to having two additional procedures in 2022. In 2022, Woods participated in three professional competitions, and his 47th place showing in the Masters in April marked his comeback to top play. He withdrew from the PGA Championship after 54 holes due to fatigue after cutting. Woods then failed to make the cut at St. Andrews for the Open Championship. Woods admitted last year that it was 50-50 whether he would need to have a portion of his right leg amputated following the collision. He acknowledged the difficulty of maintaining a competitive level of practice while maintaining his health on Tuesday. Woods claims that when he increased his playing time in preparation for this week's competition, he began to have plantar fasciitis, a foot inflammation that hurts the Heel. Woods stated that withdrawing was hard because he wanted to play. According to Woods, he has experienced a few setbacks this year, but he was still able to overcome them. However, he's unable to do so with this one, and only time will heal this one. So he will stay off his feet and get a lot of therapy. Woods claimed that he will still compete in a 12-hole exhibition match with Rory McIlroy against Jordan Spieth and Justin Thomas on December 10th. That competition and the PNC Championship, where he will compete alongside his son Charlie from December 17th through 18th, will allow him to utilize a cart. He stated that the PNC Championship would be a relatively easy week. Charlie will handle all of the strokes, so all he will need to do is make putts into the hole, making it quite easy. Woods reaffirmed his belief that walking is an integral element of the game and said he would never ask permission to use a cart in a tour-level competition. In light of his limitations, he stated that he would prepare for the major ones, and maybe, you know, lightning strikes in a bottle, and he's up in contention with a chance to win. Hopefully I remember how to accomplish it, he continued. So that's all for today. Will the conflict between the Live Golf International Series and the PGA Tour ever be resolved? Please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!